more than that, where we learned that science is not a monster and it's lots of fun. And today we're gonna be goofing around or in goo, goo. This is one experiment where I urge you to test this yourselves. It's just cornstarch and water and maybe a little bit of mopping afterwards. Please do it yourselves. This is the best way to learn. And this one is so much fun that you won't regret it. Now, non-Newtonian fluid sounds like this nerdy definition to something out there, but it really isn't. So you've probably all seen it in the movies. You walk innocently somewhere and suddenly, whoop, you get sucked into quicksand. <gasps> now what do you do? So if you're in the movies, you probably get like this beautiful woman to help you out a second before you're drowning <gasps> and you can't breathe. It's lovely, but what happens if it really happens in real life? So the solution to that is don't make sudden movements. No, it's not like with animals, it won't bite you. But quicksand, just like this goo here, here, is non-Newtonian fluid. Oh, beautiful. But um, how about instead I explain it in theory, how about we see what happens? And all you need to have for this experiment is water, cornstarch, and a bowl. Yes, let's get down to it. Play with some goof fun. Goof around! Alrighty, so we have our little plastic bowl, we have a glass of water, and cornstarch. So, let's see. There we go. We put some cornstarch in here. As you can see, it's powdery and it's very sticky. Okay and we start adding water. So we're gonna add a little bit, we'll mix it up, and we're slowly gonna add more until it turns gooey. There we go. Mix in. Now this is a tricky also because when you try to mix it, it it turns into a solid. It's really hard to mix. But slowly, with a little bit of patience and not a lot of force, like the stronger you pull it or push it or press into it, it's harder. It gets harder. You see? Up. Oh, you see this? If I push it, that's it. It gets solid. And this is the cool thing about this fluid, this non Newtonian fluid. little bit in my hand and let's see if this works now. You see this? A little ball. And the ball is solid. I don't know if you can see it, but this is a solid ball. And the reason it's solid is because I'm applying constant or, well, not constant, but constantly applying pressure. So there are always some kind of force acting on that thing. But when I stop, liquid or, well, Goo. To explain what non-Newtonian fluids are, we need to first observe what Newtonian fluids are. So, what Newton observed is that fluid has a tendency to resist flow. He called that tendency viscosity, and he stated that fluids will not change viscosity unless there's a change in temperature. A very good example for that is honey. Honey is very, very, very dense, and it's very hard to get out of the can. But if you warm it up, it's pretty liquid. Ketchup is another example. How many times did you sit in front of a bowl full of french fries and you tried and tried to get that ketchup out of the bottle? Of course, unless you're like me and you tried so many times that the waitress just gave you one in a bowl. But regardless, these are Newton rules and Newton is fairly correct. But just like anything in science, there are exceptions. And those exceptions are non-Newtonian fluids. And Many of these fluids, the non-Newtonian fluids, react and change viscosity not by changing their temperature, but by changing forces that are applied to them. So if I take my fork... But if I just leave it there... We have 
cornstarch inside and water. And what happens is the cornstarch doesn't melt inside the water. You have little particles of cornstarch and particles of water inside swimming around. When I push, particles of cornstarch are pushed inwards and they trap water inside and they have nowhere else to go so it turns solid. But when I let go, both particles are free to move around and it reverts back to being liquid. So the next time you walk around and suddenly you fall into a pit of quicksand, don't make quick movements. The harder you move, the worse it'll catch you. Make slow movements and try to climb up. But I seriously recommend not falling into quicksand because it's very bad. Isn't science just lovely? Crazy thing.